Among those in the crowd at today's press conference, the CEO of Parabon Nanolabs. According to court documents, his company helped the police department narrow down DNA to two people, Miller and his brother. He talked with News Channel 15's Chris Darby about the technology. Chris continues our team coverage now in the newsroom. Chris, what are you learning today? Tara, the brand new technology is helping crack cold cases across the country. Without it being used here, police would probably still be looking for their man. Being able to see your work, you know, make a difference is always very satisfying. The CEO of Parabon Nano Labs talks with News Channel 15 about the company's role in the Tinsley case. You might go a long time and never actually see your tools being used, and so after all of these years, seeing cases getting closed and getting closed rapidly is, of course, very rewarding for all of us. The software developers and researchers with Parabon are now seeing those rapid results after the company began working with genetic genealogy databases back in May. According to court documents, the lab was able to narrow down Miller's DNA just two months later. I so wish that we had the, the possibility of utilizing such technology back in the day. Along with others, retired detective Dan Camp spent countless hours chasing down every lead. Oh, I sure wish we had it back then because a lot of things would have been done in a much speedier way. Even though the DNA technology sped up the investigation, a detailed profile of a suspect released two years ago, an arrest still required tough police work. It's very accurate, but at the same time, it's not the end of an investigation. We provide this information to law enforcement, and it's up to them to build a case the way they always have. What we have here is an incredible team effort and really good hard work by detectives, consistently and tirelessly over 30 years. And if you don't have that good detective work, the technology means nothing. Yesterday we talked about the questions that have been raised when police use genetic research to help solve crimes. You can see that full report right now on Wayne.com. Live in the newsroom, Chris Darby, News Channel 15. Critical technology. Chris, thank you for that. We have more coverage on our website. If there are any additional developments in this case, we'll bring you them on air and on Wayne.com.